in the previous video we learned how to find the voltage gain from the waveform input and output waveform of the oscilloscope so in this video we will find the another parameter of this circuit that is bandwidth so in order to find the bandwidth we need to plot the frequency response so let us see what are the steps to plot the frequency response click to simulate analysis ac analysis so now first of all we have to uh, set all the frequency parameter that means we have to give what is the start frequency stop frequency what is the sweep type and what is the scale right so the start frequency must be minimum that is by default already it is 1 hertz then we will keep as it is the stop frequency uh, that we need to choose a high value that is 10 gigahertz again we will keep as it is the sweep type we will keep it as in decade that is as it is on the semi log paper that we will uh, keep as it is the number of points for the decade again 10 the vertical scale uh, as in the vertical axis we are plotting the gain that that must be in decibel right so this is already set now click to the next tab that is output so here the output node so here it is v5 it is by default it is v5 but we'll check what is the output node for this circuit for that just click to the output wire click to property button so the net name is 5 means this node is v5 right so again i will show the same steps go to simulate analysis ac analysis this parameter already set and the output now the v5 if, if it is another node you can choose whatever the node here it is already v5 right so if you want to add another you can just click and add it but here we want only v5 right so again click to simulate button now these are the two different graphs we are getting but out of that the first graph we want that is magnitude and frequency this graph phase versus frequency we don't want that's why you can right click and delete the graph so this is the graph of frequency response so on the x axis the frequency is there and the y axis of the magnitude that is the voltage right so let us we'll find the bandwidth now so in order to find the bandwidth we require we we need to find what is the low frequency and high frequency because the definition of bandwidth is the range of frequency over which that circuit will give maximum voltage so or maximum voltage or voltage gain so in order to find the low frequency and high frequency so we want the two the cursor so here the show cursor click to show cursor now there the, these are the two different cursors this red color this cursor is cursor 1 this is cursor 2 now this is if you observe see in the particular range of frequency this graph that means the value of the voltage is very high right so this is the ideal frequency we can see this that is high frequency minus low frequency but the practically we practical uh, value of the frequency we measure it is 3 db down right so we know the practical value so click first of all click to the cursor 2 so set the value see the set y value see the arrow it is we have that is shifting to us right so the cursor 2 we need to set to right side by 3 db down means this is the by default value uh, that is the value this maximum value we 3 db down means we need to subtract the 3 db that is the value will be 10.869 similarly this is the now this is the value the cursor is set at exactly exact location right now similarly the this cursor we need to shift towards left side by 3 db down right so 3 db down is the practical value right okay so now this cursor position is fixed right so if you see the cursor properties all x1 this is x1 value means an x axis frequency there means this x1 
is nothing but your low frequency which is in heart, hertz. The frequency is 103 hertz. Whereas X2, this is in 26.4221 megahertz. So simply if you consider dx value that is nothing but x2 minus x1 that this dx value will directly give the bandwidth because the bandwidth is high frequency which is 26.4221 megahertz and the low frequency is this one. So dx value will give the direct bandwidth value. So like this with the help of frequency response graph we can find the bandwidth parameter. So, we may take, once the practical is performed, we may take the printer by clicking to the print option. Waveform print as well as circuit diagram print we can take. So, we will see all the calculations now. So, the observation table, the input frequency, the frequency we are given 1 kilohertz, the output voltage. is 9 volt here we will write the input voltage as well the input voltage the input voltage we are given 25 millivolt or you can say v pick to pick directly v pick to pick is equal to 50 millivolt so output voltage this is output voltage which is nothing but 9 volt. So if you calculate this value output upon input ratio, so this is 180. Again, you can convert it uh, into uh, the dB 20 log 180 degree that 180 that is 45.105 in dB. So this is the voltage gain, right? So similarly, the from the second that from the frequency response graph we got the two value that is low frequency the low frequency was 103.0547 hertz whereas the fh stand for high frequency that is 26.422 megahertz so the bandwidth is nothing but this is given by FH. This, if you calculate this value, that is 26.4220 megahertz. So for Single stage RC coupled common emitter BJT amplifier. The gain we got 180 uh, or in dB this value, whereas the bandwidth is 26.422 megahertz. On the similar line for the MOSFET, we will calculate the voltage gain and bandwidth of the MOSFET. Then we will compare that BJT and MOSFET.